Driving sheep from the desert floor to the mountains of Arizona is a yearly ritual for Dwayne Dobson and his family. The 220 mile journey will take months along the rough and winding Haberino Sheep Trail. I'm third generation in this uh, business. My granddad bought the outfit in 1929. Dwayne Dobson knows a lot about raising sheep and he carries on the family legacy with an unflinching devotion. Like I say, it's tradition for uh, well, all, all of Arizona. These, these driveways were established in the 1880s, before Arizona was even a state. Twice a year, the Dobson clan moves 4,000 sheep to and from the higher elevations. The cooler temperatures are more favorable to the stock, and summering in the mountains provides access to better grazing land. Arizona sheep ranchers raise more than 150,000 animals each year a small segment of the more than six million plus sheep on ranches across the country. Good morning. How are you doing? Mark Bradford took over the job for his father-in-law 15 years ago. Yeah, it's a unique well, equation that we're able to spend that time transferring from the lower elevations up to the higher elevations, and we actually follow kind of our, the, the temperature climate up the hill. It's more like staying a step ahead of the heat. Now these sheep will travel anywhere from six to 10 miles a day, and in some cases they will do it over very rugged terrain. But they will take every bit of 45 days to make this pilgrimage to higher ground. Used to be more than a dozen ranchers guided their sheep into the mountains for mating season. But the Dobsons are the last of a dying breed, and word is spreading. Oh, look at that. So on this late April morning, crowds gathered east of Mesa to watch the flock cross the Salt River at the Blue Point Bridge. Okay, we're on the road. It's a carefully choreographed move. Mark, Dwayne, and their crew bring half the herd down to a staging area, wait overnight, then race them across the bridge at sunrise. It's a fading glimpse of ranching history. Jan Stasiak has been waiting for two days. Oh, I'm very excited. Kent Miller and his grandson are playing hooky from school. I didn't want to not experience it. It was like a historic, historic event for me. So and I want to take my grandson and him to experience it. The flock moves carefully across the asphalt, then kicks it into high gear with the surge of a much bigger herd. The sheep almost instinctively know the way. Well, how's it going? Wonderful, so far. It could change in a heartbeat, though. On this day, everything goes just as planned cross the bridge, make a sharp left, and a cloud of dust. It's a spectacle seen few other places in modern America, and one that leaves a lasting impression. It was uh, very interesting that the sheep knew their way, where they were going. The leaders came right down and knew right where they were gonna come through the gate. Retired school teacher Cindy Shanks has been following the Dobson sheep for 10 months. 1,500 photographs later, Shanks says she wants to write a book titled the Great Arizona Sheep Drive. It's history, and Arizona kids don't have a lot of history because we're such a young state. And this is, this is important history. Some of this land is a short drive from urban areas, and development is slowly choking off access to these coveted trails. We were able to actually graze our sheep at different, different ranchers' uh, farm ground all the way to where we got to our own property. Now you cross about 15 Home Depots, some Lowell's, and grocery stores. How long these annual treks can go on will depend on forces outside the flock. Encroaching civilization and redefined land use may shut down these pathways to the past. But Dwayne Dobson says, for now, the migrations will continue. The way the economics are, we're the only ones left. Oh, I don't intend to quit here unless the pressure just gets too great. Thank you.